This pair of binoculars is also a 110 film camera. Hey everyone, Sean here with photodeox.com and welcome to another episode of Film Friday. This is probably one of the weirdest cameras I own. Uh, this is a Tasco 8000, comes in this nice case. And uh, when I first found this uh, in an antique store, I thought it was a pair of binoculars. But on closer inspection, I realized there was some sort of uh, camera mechanism, a place to put 110 film, and a third lens that just so happens to be a camera. Yeah, believe it or not, this Tasco 8000 is a fully functional 110 film camera as well as a pair of binoculars. And to take the photos, you actually look through the binoculars, compose your shot, and then take your picture. Now, this is not a very well-known camera. Uh, if you go on Instagram, for instance, and do hashtag Tasco 8000, there's like four or five posts. So not many people seem to be using it, although if you do search on eBay, there are plenty for sale. Uh, they run anywhere from 60 to $150. And yeah, doing a little more research into this line, it uh, turns out there was a series of Tasco cameras. Uh, this is considered the Primo one. And though this is considered the premium model, it actually has some drawbacks. Uh, with the older versions of this camera, when you focused the eyepieces of the binocular, you also focused the lens. But this one has an interchangeable lens, so it actually has a fixed focus. This is the 100 millimeter lens. Uh, it's an f5.6 to f22 lens. And Tasco also offered a 70 millimeter and a 150 millimeter lens. Um, I don't have those. I don't really want those because I do kind of like the telephoto nature of this lens. And I've found that taking pictures with this, the lens is very similar to what I'm seeing through the binoculars. Uh, what I see is basically what I'm getting. Like I said, uh, it's an f5.6 to f22, and this lens has a minimum focusing distance of 25 feet. This camera has two shutter speeds, one 1 25th of a second and one 2 50th of a second, and you choose them with this little dial here. That's one 1 25th and two is uh, 1 2 50th. With the 110 film crop on this 100 millimeter lens, it gets it closer to a 200. The camera also has a quarter 20 mounting point on one side, so you can mount it on a tripod. Because you're mounting it vertically, you would then only look through one of the eyepieces to compose your image. Now, like I said, this is a film camera, but it doesn't use 35 millimeter or medium format film. It uses 110 cartridge film. Now, this is a format that almost went extinct. A number of years ago, they quit manufacturing it, but then Lomography showed up and started making it again. Uh, and there's actually quite a bit of 110 in the wild now. It's a fairly easy film to get a hold of. And the way you put it in the camera is you just push this lever to open the back door, and then you just slot the film in. It fits in pretty firmly here. Lock it into place. And the reason they went with 110 film is how compact it is. Uh, if this has been a 35 millimeter camera, it would have been like twice the size. So I get it. Uh, but one of the interesting things about 110 film is it's super low fi. Uh, you know, it's a much smaller gauge, so you get a lot of film grain. Uh, it's like shooting on 16 millimeter motion picture film. That's all right with me because I actually like low fi filmic images. Uh, and this camera is pretty good at creating them. Here are some of the photos I've captured with this camera. One of the major downsides of this camera is the minimum focusing distance is 25 feet, uh, whereas the minimum focusing distance of the actual binoculars is much closer. So even though you can get a really nice close up uh, view of like a bird like this cardinal here, uh, when I try to photograph it, it is out of focus because it's too close. The lens just can't focus on it. So even though I initially was excited about using this camera to photograph birds, I found it's actually better for shooting landscapes, uh, like this shot here of a guy sitting on a dock, or shooting animals that are far away, like this white heron uh, flying over a lake. So if you're looking for a good birding camera, uh, this is not really it. I mean, you can photograph birds from far away, uh, like this white heron kind of flying away in the distance, or this blue heron that's kind of far away in a pond. Uh, but when you try to photograph animals closer, uh, like this squirrel or this rabbit, uh, they tend to be out of focus because you're just too close to them. 
But again, I really do like this camera for shooting landscapes. It actually does a fairly good job. Uh, the 110 film does not hold up when you scan it. Uh, it does kind of break down. It gets really soft, it gets really grainy. But like I said, I really like this kind of lo-fi look. So for me, this is a home run. So should you get this camera? Well, it really depends. Uh, if you're looking for a versatile 110 film camera uh, that can shoot close up, far away, uh, good for portraits, landscapes, etc., this is probably not the camera for you. Uh, like I said, this is really a landscape only camera or a, you know, a street photography camera or a wildlife camera uh, if you're shooting people or animals that are far away. So it's really not that versatile at all and you really have to remind yourself when you're out using it uh, what its limitations are. But if you don't mind those limitations, this is a fun camera to collect. I mean, it is so strange. Uh, where else are you going to have uh, not only a pair of binoculars, but a interchangeable lens film camera that uses a bizarre type of film. It doesn't get much more niche than that. Okay, that was a quick look at the Tasco 8000 Binoculars 110 Interchangeable Lens Film Camera. Uh, wow, this is a strange camera, but I'm glad to have it in my collection. This video is brought to you by photodeox.com. We are a company that makes gear for photographers and filmmakers, uh, pretty much any accessories you're looking for, whether they are lens adapters, filters, or lights, we've got you covered at photodeox.com. So if you wanna learn more about any of the products we sell, click the link in the description below. And click right here to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more weird film camera videos like this one. I'm Sean with photodeox.com and uh, have fun taking pictures with a binocular camera.